All right, so around this time, I decided I wanted to create a character set, okay? It's very important that you start off with the character set because one, the character set really helps you key all your keys instead of selecting them one by one throughout the animation process. So I create my character set, go to the options if you want to, but um, that's where you can rename it to whatnot and then just uh, create it. And that's when you'll see the, your um, channel box light up with yellow. All right, and once you create that character set, um, all your you know translate values scale rotate whatever you created within that channel box it's all gonna be um uh highlighted okay it's very important for the um animation process okay and if um you find any keys that you uh didn't have in or don't have on the character set just make sure you add them into the, in, in there um All right, so just making sure that um, all the controls are, are good. I'll start resetting everything. Um, make sure we're, you're at the default pose before you start your full animation. So with this dinosaur, um, we're gonna start off uh, doing a walk cycle in this first uh, tutorial. Um, you know, I'm just making sure everything's good. Make sure you zero out all your controls. Uh, FK, IK is back to its default state. Um, here, I'm just adding all my uh, controls right into our character set basically key and then add to character set and make sure you have your character set at the bottom activated before you do that excuse me so like if you have your character set already there make sure you activate it at the bottom bottom uh, right hand corner and then select your translate rotate values in the channel box highlight them and then key add to character set simple as that okay All right, so here I'm just checking all the controls. Um, so before I start, I pr pretty much create like character, not character sets, sorry, uh, selection sets, which is you select your control quick and then select uh, your quick selection set or whatnot. But um, I start off with the left, the left leg. Uh, it doesn't even matter um, whichever one you start off with. But for me, I just wanted to start off with like the left leg, and I go up to the, you know, the basically the root control, start selecting things. But um. Here, like it, it's more about looking at a reference, so that's it, that's key. Look at a reference of um, some, uh, you know, an animal that's similar to like a dinosaur. I would say the best one would be like the ostrich. You know what I mean? Um, so like basically to get off the walk cycle, I you mess around. Basically, don't don't start off with uh, the head or tail or whatnot. Start off with the root control, which is like say for instance the hips, and start off with the feet. And then start in a action pose. Don't start off with the basic, uh, like in a basic pose. Make sure he's in an action place. So like frame one would be the leg is already, picture it as the dinosaur is already in movement. You, you see what I'm saying? So start off with the one foot is in the air and the other foot is acting as, as if it's already in motion. So it's already on the ground and it's, and it's going backwards. The other foot is, it's an action, it's in the air and it's going forward. You know what I mean? Alright, so as I go, my process, I'm just I'm just looking at the, the reference or whatnot. And you know, it could be any reference, you know, recording, anything of that nature. Um and in this video, please uh take your time to go back and forth and scrub through the video for my audio and ask questions, of course. I, I have no problem answering anybody's questions. <laughs> um so as you go with the animation, you see how I just moved that leg back. I, I choose a spot. It's not a particular spot. Like I mean, it's you know, it's you just when you get you honestly gotta wing it. So I choose a spot where I want the leg to plant, which is the right the right foot right now. I choose a spot where where I want that to go, and I just plant it and I rotate it, zero it out or whatnot. Now the left foot, I bring that back basically, and just make sure that you're you're continuously scrubbing on the timeline. Of course, you know you want to see. A good animation flow you want to see that um this, this also real quick i'm doing like a more straightforward approach there's also blocking blocking is perfectly good i just chose to do the straightforward approach blocking is where um you wouldn't see a more you would see a less of a 
of fluid animation you would honestly see like these keys and the animation you would see them basically blocked out you'd see it basically key or uh sorry pose to pose pose to pose basically so like the blocking would be i'd have one pose keyframe keep sorry <laughs> keyframe 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 two would be another pose keyframe three would be another pose you know it's just constantly different but you know i like to do this it's more fluid i get to see it um blocking i like blocking but it's just i don't know i guess i feel like it's more time consuming on my on my portion uh, everybody's different you know <laughs> so in here i'm just like getting different angles uh i'm starting to get the walk out you know after you have one leg uh one side of the the foot planted or whatnot you have like a good um flow with it go to the other side and then replicate those values because you can see i'm going back and forth between the keys and copying and pasting the keys but make sure you keep a consistent workflow because it does get confusing because you see how i'm scrubbing through the timeline and i'm copying and pasting those keyframes but the opposite so say for instance um one key would be six uh the opposite leg would be the exact same value but you want to have it a negative value so it can be planted in that same uh area on the opposite leg of course so if you're following along closely enough um and please do if if this video is way too fast please uh um let me know so i'm just constantly uh looking at the feet the position and notice how i'm not worrying about the body i'm really not worrying about the body like why would i worry about the body when i have to worry about the feet so make sure to focus on the feet first especially if you're not uh especially if you're not really like a uh a really good professional animator make sure to just focus on one piece at a time focus on the feet then go to the legs after you perfected the feet you see where it's going go to the body go to the hips go to the head and then eventually come back until you see that full body of the animation then eventually you gradually come back to the feet or something or you see what i'm saying or something like that so it's not it's not too bad just it just it's just work in practice and once again um well, not really, once again, I didn't, uh, I didn't really mention it, <laughs> but, um, please, please make it a habit to save. I'm so serious. <laughs> so many people just for forget to save, and then next thing you know, computer dies, or you're working out of, like, a, a, um, a computer with a bunch of other people, and it's basically server, basically servers set up the entire, uh, station, and one little thing, somebody unplugs something or kicks it with their foot, and the whole entire station goes out, it's over your work is done <laughs> so have like a some type of saving uh like it, all it is is just com command s on a mac or control s on a pc so it's really easy just save save your work make sure to save all the time and um with this all i am is just constantly working on the feed make sure that i have planet values make sure um you look at my keys um i'm just making sure that the feet look good i'm i'm, I'm getting a focus on where I want the feet to be placed, excuse me, where I want the feet to be placed, and then I constantly plan it back and forth. So all I have it is, all I have the keyframe, the timeline is 1 to 30, but my actual keyframe value or the timeline that I want it to be essentially is 1 to 29. That would be the animation that I want to have exported out as an FBX or whatnot, or uh, if it's um, for film uh, or, you know, a video or whatnot, instead of if it's like a not for a non video game it would be 1 through 29 and i would have those keys duplicated or um baked out and then i would have my animation right there so essentially it's a theoretically the same thing i have them baked out and export as a fbx and then right into the game engine simple as that but i want my keys to be 1 through 29 1 to 30 is just for the workstation basically essentially i think of it as a workstation so as you see it's a walk cycle it looks pretty fast but you know as you actually when I, was, I think i was when i was recording this um it was actually going not too fast because i was working on a laptop <laughs> shoot me um oh, excuse me i got a burp but it wasn't coming out um oh here it comes oh excuse me all right so 